Hi, my name's Johnny, and today we are checking out the brand new 500 watt analog combo from Dark Glass. Dark Glass have taken the base world by storm over the last 10 years with their insanely high quality products aimed at that high end base distortion. And this is one of the brand new combos 2024 that they have released. I've been a fan of Dark Glass for many years and having owned lots of their products before. I never really saw them going for the combo route because it kind of seems like this product isn't geared at what most of their fan base is. A lot of metal players aren't rocking up with combos. It's heads and cabs and, and pedal boards. So I wasn't expecting them to bring out a whole range of combos. So here we are. They've brought out two main models, one more digital one and one more analog that we've got here today. Go and check out Patrick Hunter's video on the digital version of this. It's a great demo and show you all the depth of tones you can get. With the analog one, you can't quite get as many things out of it, but that's what I kind of wanted. That's what I kind of like out of this thing. I've got the E500 head and that you use Bluetooth and the app and all sorts to craft your tone. And I'm a knobs guy. <laughs> Okay, I like twiddling knobs. Analog! We have got a four baron's preamp. So bass, two mid controls, treble, master volume, compressor, and two built-in drives. That being the vintage drive and the classic B3K. Now, what I really, really like about this, and straight away, you can just tell that this oozes quality. With some of these knobs, you might see they've got multiple options. That is because you can click them in. Ah, yes! Thinking of it is so nice, it just feels super, super premium. I mean, you are paying a premium price uh, for these combos. They're, they're not the cheapest things in the world, but what you're getting back is that quality and the design that goes into it. I have to say, you can see what volume this is on now. This thing is so loud. <laughs> it is a really, really loud amp, and that is great because we've got a two by 10 to the 500 watt power amp in the back. Now let's hear what this bad boy can do. We're going to be listening to a blend of the DI out coming out of the back, this Shure SM57 and an Audix D6 microphone. And we're gonna be playing my 1997 Fender Precision Bass. <laughs> So as just like a clean amp, which is not normally what Dark Glass are known for, it's, it sounds solid, you know? Now these are my favorite settings, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the drive. You can see by the, the stank in my face that that is great fun to play with and would sound great in a lot of mixes. One tool I really like using on Dark Glass stuff is to bring a bit more life into the sound by putting the drive all the way down but the blend all the way up. I 
think when you start blending some of the drive too high, you start losing some of the lows. So anything past like three o'clock is not really usable to me. I like to have an absolute maximum between one and two o'clock. I'm gonna move back away from the drive and look at the EQ. You'll see I've actually got some pretty extreme EQ on here. I'm dialing back a lot of the highs, boosting the bass a lot, and then adjusting the mids accordingly. Um, I'll show it to you quickly as it is. And now I'll put it all to 12 o'clock. like super thin sounding. Now it's super clean and super clear, but it also sounds super like dead and uh, and not very bassy at all. I'll tell you what it sounds like. It sounds almost like there's no cab. It sounds like I'm hearing just a DI. Which for a lot of people will be great and they'll love that. For me, personally, I don't love that. And so I've got to do some pretty extreme EQing to get it to sound how I want to. And if there's one thing I've learned over the years of doing gear demos and also um, and just playing gear is that if so, if you could plug something in and everything at 12 o'clock sounds good, you're off to a good start. Like that is the sign of a, a great bit of gear. That's not to say this isn't great because it's got great sounds in there, but it just sounds pretty weak, I think, when everything is flat. So you definitely need to know a bit more about what you're doing to get it to sound how you want. <laughs> Now the problem now is that it's way too scooped for that drive sound. I mean, with the vintage. The B3K is definitely the shining star of this whole setup, blended in with the EQ. For me, this is a distortion beast. Like, it should have it on. I mean, it's not a surprise, is it? It's dark glass, of course. But for me, it's, it's not the most flexible thing in the world because the EQ by itself want that dark glass sound in an easy to carry format that doesn't require a head and a cab, then this is a great solution. The one thing I wish it had, I know I said I wanted it analog, is a digital cab sim. If you're running this much drive, with a DI, you'll probably hear it through this. You're hearing a blend of all of this, but if we listen to just the DI, it's just a preamp with drive on it with nothing to kind of take the harshness off of it. I really love the dark glass suite and their cab sim is 
so good. I just wish that that feature was on here. That would take this up a whole other level. So yeah, to summarize, great drive sound, not too heavy, amazing feeling knobs and just overall build quality. Maybe a bit difficult out of the gate to EQ. Expensive. It is expensive at the end of the day. Uh, and if you're after this sound, you, you're getting it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.